considered food insecure in Thomas County in 2021. That is 12% of the overall population. And now area organizations are working overtime to help fill that need. ABC 27's Candace Blake was at Victory Fellowship Church where they have a weekly food pantry for those in need. They can use more. Cause there's a lot of people in need who need help. Meet Hattie Taylor. She heads up the Faircloth food site, one of 30 distribution locations for the YMCA summer feeding program. Your sister ain't coming? Mm. Oh, okay. Taylor's seen the need for food firsthand. She says they often give out 70 lunches within an hour. I'm scared they don't want to be on camera either because normally they'd be on cane by now. <laughs> In 2021, over 5,000 people were considered food insecure in Thomas County. That's 12% of their overall population. It's according to Feeding America. Turkey sandwich, orange, then they get juice and milk and mayo and mustard. The need spread throughout Thomas County, prompting multiple organizations to help fill that need, but they need a little help to do it. We could provide a lot more. We have a lot of generous people and a lot of people who want to support what we're doing and we could provide for a lot more people if they came. Victory Fellowship Church has been running a food pantry for over 10 years, giving away 650 bags so far in 2023. Brian says that she believes they could help even more people if people knew about them. YMCA CEO Tom Everett says that they are changing things up this year, prompting more participation than ever before. This year we have an opportunity to, uh, to pass out meals, grab and go, so a family can come and uh, grab meals and they don't have to eat it on site. They can take it home with them. An effort Taylor believes will help even more people. They just have to go out there and try to get the resource that they need. Candace Blake reporting there. Victory Fellowship gives out free food every Tuesday morning from 9 to 11.